How do I add products to an opportunity? Well, this is pretty simple. Uh, I'm here on a test opportunity that I've created with a Quick Create. I'm going to scroll down to the product line items. And the first thing I'm going to check is I'm going to check to see if there's a price list. And in this case, um, my price list is US dollars and sprockets. There may be other price lists available. You may have a price list that's already pre-selected for you, depending on how the system is set. Your price list might be determined by who you're doing business with. The second option is what, how the revenue is calculated, whether I'm going to type in a revenue amount up here or whether the system will calculate the revenue based on how many of each product I'm going to purchase. Then the next thing I'm, to do, I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my inline editor here, which is default inside of CRM, and I'm going to either write in a product or add an existing product. Most of the time you should probably be adding an existing product so that all the pricing is correct and everything links nicely. And then I could either start to type the um, name of the product and do a lookup, or I could, if I wasn't sure about the names of my product, I could click the little hourglass, look up more records. And then I can see I have one product listed in here that is a roller chain sprocket C-Hub with 25 teeth. Um, and this is just an example product. Um, it's a primary unit and the amount of them is $21.40. The units would be if I was uh, selling by weight or by volume, where this would say pounds or kilograms. Uh, but in this case, because it's just a count, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to click Add. And then my line item shows up. My price per unit is locked. What my product is is, is locked. But I could say, well, they're going to buy a hundred of my um, of my of my sprockets here. And then you can see the extended amount automatically updates to two thousand one hundred and forty dollars, and my estimated revenue um, updates up here automatically if I wanted to. There are ways to set defaults or discounts automatically, but because they're buying so many, I'm going to give them a $100 discount on their order, and I'm going to click out, and you can see my extended offer automatically drops, and so does my estimated revenue. And at this point, I could click Save. One thing that um, I should point out is if I switch to User Provided, and I click Save, I still have um, my quantities in here, my extended amount locks, and I can update um, my estimated revenue to be, let's say, $1,080. Depending on how you want to use this estimated revenue, it can either be driven directly off of the product line item, or you can have your people uh, enter this manually, or you can even use a business rule or JavaScript or math in order to put in a different amount based on the extended amount.